Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm going to get straight into this one because it's a bit of a, not a huge disaster, but a little bit of a failure, I think. Um, but I've grabbed three nails. They are in size zero from Beauty Art Box Long Coffin. And I've base coated all three, cured them, and then I've got the navy seals from Blue Sky. And it's, well, it's just a gorgeous dark navy blue, but it is on the transparent side like a, a jelly um, and I thought that would work really well for the design is yeah the design I suppose it's not a set of nails or anything um, it was just a bit of a play play about see what I could come up with so to keep it as jelly as a possible we're only going to do one coat of that and I'm not going to cure it just yet uh, because I have seen something that I wanted to try. So I've grabbed some blooming gel, put it on a palette, grabbed a dotting tool, and I'm just dabbing it onto the wet blue gel polish. And I suppose in effect it creates like a bubbly, bubbly effect. And it looked okay-ish. <laughs> I think I feel like they use I've seen it like in passing, like scrolling through a video. Um and I don't know whether they used two different coloured polishes. But the, the, the blooming Gel worked out okay. So I stuck with that and give that a cure. You can leave it for as long as possible. Let the blooming Gel do its magic. Have bigger bubbles. Let it disperse. But I found this gorgeous foil that has been stuck in my foil folder for I have no idea how long. Um, so I'm going to use my tried and trusted McCart rhinestone, no, not rhinestone glue gel, even though that is amazing. Their foil glue. Put that on all three nails, and I've chosen some fishy foils. Lots of different designs. I did a, um, a video on these that had like a haul. So I've chosen the more realistic fish and sea creatures that I could, and I'm going to pop them on on different on the different nails i think i put two fish on one two fish on another and then like a weird squid thing i don't even know what it is <laughs> but give them a rub so for the mccart foil glue uh if you're new i like to cure it for two full minutes and then it let it cool down for a good minute to two minutes before i put any foil on um i just feel like it needs the two minutes, even though it, it, it does its thing after 60 seconds, which is fine. But for me, I feel like it doesn't fully, like the foil doesn't fully stick. So it was Miss Jo that did the two minutes and she told people. And I've done it ever since then. And it's worked every single time. So this foil blue shimmery-ness is even better on the nail than I thought it was going to be. It is so nice. I'm really excited to try that on something completely different as well because it's so pretty. It's got like blue and purple and green pink shimmers to it and it's beautiful. So once the fish and that glossy foil is on, I'm going to put some more blooming gel on and I've grabbed a few different colours. We have Surf and Skate, New York Blue, and I think I use Northern Lights or Northern Nights. I think I'll show you in a minute. Um, but I'm just pushing it, pulling it through the blooming gel to create a bit of an underwater effect. <laughs> it's a bit naff, but like I said, just playing Northern Lights. There you go. And it's a cat eye gel polish. So I'm hoping, or I was hoping, if I pulled that through a little bit, and while it's still, obviously, you've got to use the magnet before you cure it. I can hopefully pull some of those magnety pieces to the forefront and it would be even shimmery. An even shimmery underwater scene. So that is all three of them done. They've all had the same process, just different fishy, fishy stickers on there. So now it's actually time for the tricky bit. So this was a size zero. What I've done the design on and I've grabbed a size three out of the same box the same brand everything like that so it's obviously smaller shorter and it will leave a nice crevice a nice gap where we can put a few things of those um so I've grabbed some hard gel 
and I'm just going to secure it in place just in a few different places like to it to uh, the, a little bit at each side sorry and a little bit at the top and then I'll flash cure that uh, so I don't have to keep holding on to it while I do the rest so that's had a flash cure and then we're going to fill in all the sides make sure that there's no gaps because we want to fill it with some liquid and obviously if there's any gaps it's going to seep out actually something really weird happened when I was putting the liquid in I'm not sure if I got it on camera if I haven't I'll explain it to you when we get to that stage but it was weird so if anybody knows why it did what it did I would really like to know because it's really strange so at this point I filled all the gaps and I filed it all and I'm checking to see if any liquid is coming out so I grab the cup and I hold it and the water doesn't come out like, at all I try I thought well maybe there's like a tension on the like, on the surface so I stuck the needle back in to break the tension the surface tension and it still didn't come out I had to syringe it all back out it's ever so strange oh so I'm filing it now I didn't actually file it before I put the water in the liquid in but after I filed it I did test it again to make sure that there was I hadn't filed away any bits that I shouldn't have um so what do we have we're gonna use some of these I'm not sure where these were from possibly sheen you know there's 95 percent chance that they were from sheen let's be honest um so we're stuffing a mermaid in there and I think I only put one thing in each nail she didn't quite fit a bent her a little bit I don't know if that was going to be a problem or not uh pushed her in with the dotting tool she still was stuck so I had to get a brush a long handled uh, a long bristled brush give her a poke urge her up into that gap so we've got I was going to put these in I was like no they're going to be too heavy so we just stuck with the glitters now this was a huge mistake just have a look at how much glitter I'm putting in there do not do that it is a huge mistake huge mistake but that's the thing if you've never done it before you've got to experiment you've got to try out what is the right consistency not the consistency the quantity of stuff that you put in there and you know it's all trial and error so i ended up putting about two tweezer pinches of each of like the confetti strands and then a good two to three scoops of each of the fine glitter <laughs> um and then i decided to put starfish up there as well saying up there is just wrong i've just realized i put a starfish in there so now it's time to put the liquid in uh, so I fill it all up and I'm like okay so let's wipe away any liquid because the gel's not going to stick so now that she was all full up I think the first mistake here was putting the starfish in putting way too much way too much glitter seriously it was terrible so I did two and I'm going to show you the two first two that I did completely completely failed the first one, far too much glitter and water and liquid. Too much glitter, too many bits in there, too much liquid in there. There's no air bubble, the, you can't see through. I tried to drill a hole in the tip and in the side and I thought if I pushed water through with the syringe, with the needle, it would take some of that glitter through and I tried for about half an hour to do that and that's why there's water everywhere. Um, that didn't work at all. But this one this one did just just about so I put a lot less a lot less glitter um and I put a tiny bit of oil any oil cuticle oil I'll just use some a, a drop of cuticle oil and um yeah I just didn't fill it up with anything as much as I did for the other two so I, I made sure that the end was clear of any wetness any liquid that was seeping out or anything so that i could cap that edge and seal it all in and then i have buffed over and filed over the entire nail i've grabbed the vivid green and the green gel paint i'm just going to do a leafy seaweedy design 
um, and then the glow orange and the orange gel paint hello boy oh he's so beautiful um and then i have done i don't know the name for this this weird sea thing sponge not a sponge i'm no good with things like this uh but it lives under the sea some coral let's call it coral are you trying to get in my closet he's such a smart boy i love him he's so handsome boy he opens doors and it is so adorable we thought we were like robbed in the middle of the night that's not adorable but we came downstairs and the living room door was open and we were like what the hell the kids hadn't been up and then one night we realized that clyde was sitting on the table next to the door and he would open the door so he's a clever boy aren't you yes so we have grabbed some pearls from the vintage pearl crystal mix from crystal parade i've grabbed a starfish and a shell and some crystal i'm using everything pretty much from the pearl and crystal preciosa vintage mix from crystal parade and then it's time for top coat i will list everything that i've used uh down in the description box and and do you want to say 50 percent at madam glam i do <laughs> have a code little nail room 50 instead of 30 and today is your last chance to use that code it was only valid for today and yesterday for their mother's day sale uh so yeah go grab a bargain let me know what you're gonna get there's so many choices it's so hard to choose sometimes but we are done with this nail two are a huge failure this one it's not the best but it was good for a little play around but let me know what you think and let me know what you're going to get from the madame glam sale thanks so much for watching guys bye